Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to be guiding you through every single trick that I know on how to highlight and contour the face, how to shape it, you know, a little bit more defined, lifted, but looking natural at the same time. I have a lot to say. Let's just skip this whole intro and get to the good stuff. First things first, just kind of roll your shoulders a little bit, have a snack, and in walks my husband. <laughs> Yay. One, two, three, depuff the face. Now, when I know that I am gonna be using full coverage foundation and a lot of creams to contour, I won't go heavy with really intense hydrating primers. I just feel like it makes the product slide around too much. So I just focus in on minimizing the look of my pores. So I just take a tiny little bit and pat it in. Pat, 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 pat. Do you see how like I'm taking just like a tiny little amount and I'm smoothing it in and then I'm kind of pressing the product in. I'm not like going like this everywhere. That will create a problem. Don't do that. Straight into a little foundation. I am using a full coverage foundation. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm using the shade three. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. I would recommend using a more full coverage foundation if you're gonna be cream contouring and adding a lot of shape to the face. You definitely don't wanna use like a tinted moisturizer and then end up with heavy coverage in just the contoured areas. You want to create, again, that base that is kind of flattening everything out where then you're gonna use color and add more shape to the face. You don't have to use full, full coverage. You could use just like a medium, but my point is don't use like a BB cream and then go in with cream contour. The next thing I'm gonna do is take a shade lighter than my foundation. I am using Tarte's Shape Tape. This is light neutral, and I am going to full on do triangles under my eye, go down the bridge of the nose. Right now, I am skipping highlighting this area because I feel like product is grabbing too much. If you have dry patches anywhere on your forehead, I would just suggest really using powder to be the finishing highlighting method instead of adding tons of cream. So for me, I'm avoiding that. I'm gonna avoid my chin as well. So I'm just starting on the inner corner. I am kind of tipping my brush straight along the side of my nose and almost getting a little bit up there to create a highlight. And then with this stuff, a little goes a long way. So I'm pulling down. I'm not gonna go past my nostril. I'm gonna kind of stop at that point and then not go too far past the edge of my eyebrow either. You wanna be careful to not overdo it. I mean, there is a point of overdoing it with anything, but especially with highlighting your face, you don't wanna all of a sudden have foundation on and then completely like lighten up absolutely every part of your skin. Do not smile, Tati. Do not ruin your concealer. I'm gonna take a dampened beauty blender. I'm taking the pointed edge and I'm gonna begin by just pressing the product in. The sponge is going to pick up a little of the excess, so I don't have to smear this around everywhere. I really just have to focus on pressing and patting and really keeping the product exactly where I laid it down. The idea is to blend as best possible, and this is gonna be with your cream contours as well, in the area that you placed them. So you don't wanna like pull all this light product down here. That's not gonna give you the effect that you want. So really focus on pressing the product in. So now what we are going to do is take a cream contour. I have two that I wanna show you guys. One is outrageously expensive. This is from Natasha Denona. I don't know that it's worth the it's like $95, I believe, but it is really good and you get powders and creams in here. I do enjoy this new one from Urban Decay. This is the Shape Shifter. You again, get powders on one side and then you do get creams on the other. The cream in here is pretty dark, even though this is the light medium shift. This right here is the Urban Decay. This is the Natasha Denona. The Urban Decay is more opaque. The Natasha Denona has a little more slip. I personally appreciate that slip and I am gonna use the Natasha Denona today, but there are options out there. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg. You even could use a foundation that is a few shades darker if you wanted to not be crazy and buy a whole contour kit. So what I'm gonna do is take a brush that looks like this. This is the NARS Eda brush. I'm gonna go into the contour, I'm not grabbing too much. I'm just making sure that my brush is coated. I go higher versus lower. I used to go underneath, like I'd go like this, 
and I'd go right underneath and that would almost drag my face down. Right now what I'm doing is I cheat it and I'm going slightly on the cheekbone itself and I don't go any lower than my nostril. I really want my face to be lifted. I am trying to cheat gravity and make things look nice and lifted and fresh and not like everything is drooping. That is adding a really nice shadow. Nothing is dragged down. And I am going to try and blend this in without moving it up and destroying the highlight without moving it down and creating a muddy mess. So the idea is to use a really light grip on the brush. You don't wanna be up close to the bristles, kind of grabbing and smudging and moving the product around too much. Again, you want it to be where you placed it, but you just want it to blend into the skin. So I'm starting with circular motions. I go full on back to the ear so that things don't stop right here with kind of like a shade difference. Now this is where I get all sorts of extra and I do either like to take my Clarisonic brush or I'll take a clean brush and I'll kind of go on the edges of whatever I laid down. And you can see that this looks really natural. It doesn't look like a harsh line. Like it does not look like when I turn my head, you see a strip of contour and there's like this kind of harsh line effect happening. It just looks like shadows are grabbing in this area, creating a stronger looking bone structure. So now I have more dimension to my face if you compare this side to this side and that is just the cheek. I got a big forehead, so I like to kind of shorten it up a little bit if I can. So you can do that with contour, definitely. The other thing I like about using cream contour and layering things up, A, it's gonna last longer on the face and not break apart, so it's more long wearing, but also it kind of gives you a nice tan type of a look to the skin, which I enjoy. Also, because of the type of blending that I do, I like to save my eyebrows and eyes for after I do all of this mess because I'm actually blending quite a bit even into the eyebrow. I don't want there to be a gap there. Cream contour and highlight is all about the blend and placement. It's not that hard. You just have to have a little patience. So now I want to get that annoying hair off my face. Now what I want to do is go on the jaw and I'm going just enough up that it's actually going to make a difference and make things look more sharp. Same thing, blend this in. You could use a sponge, you could use you know, the Eda brush itself or a brush like that. I just happen to really love the way the Clarisonic blends all of this in. I am actually using a concealer brush. This is my favorite thing to do for the nose. I don't like to go in with like a big stripe right away. I like to have more control. So I take the tip of a concealer brush and for me, placement starts right around here, right below my eye. I recently have found that I don't like contouring up in here. It just creates a weird shadow on my eyes that I don't personally like. And even though I would like to lengthen my nose, so I'm not gonna ever put contour underneath here because that will shorten it, I'm not going to go high. If you want to lengthen your nose, you can do that. So try it out, see what you like. For me, I start right here and I try to go really pretty thin with it. Now what I will do is take a clean brush and kind of go back and forth up and down. So now I have both sides of my face cream contoured and cream highlighted. So now what I'm gonna do is make sure that my under eye area is still smooth. You always wanna re-dab underneath the eyes, re-blend. Everybody has a fit when I say dab. I don't know about you, but I don't wanna set any creases underneath my eye. So I always, always re-blend. Then I'm going to take a loose powder. You guessed it, Cody Airspun is back in rotation and I'm going like this. Pressing up onto the nose a little bit on the side, into that inner corner real good, and to the outer edge. That's as far as I'm taking it. That's enough. 
another tip for you guys. When using Cody Airspun Powder, just get ready naked. You will thank me. I also want to take the tip of the Beauty Blender and just go on top of the area that I had highlighted on the nose. I am going to press this in between the eyes. Remember, I didn't put a cream contour there. And I'm not gonna let this sit. I'm actually going to press it into the skin, press it into my chin, and then I am going to take a large fluffy brush and immediately get the excess off of there. I am going to go into the lid with a large fluffy brush and kind of just stamp the rest of my face. All right, so it is time to sweep off our bake. Now you can use any brush you like to do this. I am going to use this teeny tiny brush from Clover and I'm just lightly going to dust off the excess. I always like taking a little bit of what's left over on the brush and sweeping it over the lid. Now we're moving on to a matte bronzer to kind of finish sculpting everything on the face. I am taking the Hula Bronzer from Benefit and I'm taking this really cool brush from Japanesque. They do have one by NARS that's very similar. This one is more affordable and I like it just as much so I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to go in here and swirl some color onto the brush, tap off a lot of the excess. And I am going to go right over where I laid that cream contour down. I'm not gonna go below down here. I'm just gonna focus on kind of going almost in a circle up to kind of meet on my cheek a little bit. So this all blends together. Whatever excess is on this brush, I'm gonna go down the sides of the nose. And now we are ready for Tati's secret magical contour moment. I am going to take a more shimmery bronzer. I know, I don't like shimmery bronzers. This is like a new thing for me too. So I am taking this bronzer from Hourglass. This is the Luminous Bronze Light. And I am taking my giant brush. I'm going in here like so. And I am lightly gonna graze the entire area here and it just adds this incredible softness and a little more bronze, and I just love the way this works. I will also do this trick with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer or the BB Bronzer. Any bronzer that is not shimmery but has a slight sheen, this will work. It just kind of gives the skin a nice overall glow and somehow diffuses any harshness from your contour. I don't go on the nose with this though. This is from MAC. This is from their new collection. This is called Sugar or Syrup, and it's just a really beautiful pink color, so I thought we would try it out together. I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk brush, and this is the number, oh my God, I have used this one so much, the brush number is off. I am just going to go on the apples of the cheeks, focusing up and back. It has more of a sheen than I thought, but that's okay. Last but not least, we are going to highlight the crap out of the face because that is what sets off everything, makes the skin look more realistic and glowing and not so weighed down with a ton of product. Also, when you do these kind of steps, the more it wears, the better it looks. So let everything kind of sink into the skin, let that powder sink into the skin. It is going to look prettier and prettier hour after hour, which makes this kind of makeup great for evening, when you know you need it to look awesome all night long. So I am just hitting the high points of my face now, doing all my typical moves a little bit above the brow, over here too, cheekbones. I like using a fan brush. I just feel like I have more control. And you guys can't really see the shoulders, but just so you know what I'm up to, I am hitting those shoulders. I typically use two setting sprays always, but especially when I'm using this technique. Now I am going to use setting sprays before I even approach the eyebrow area or the eye area because I am gonna be using a liberal amount and I wouldn't want my mascara or brows to get wet and kind of go crazy. So what I like to do is have a fan nearby. I know this, it's about to get intense. 
I have this little guy right here that I picked up on Maui for like $2. It's my favorite thing ever, but any fan will work or even a piece of paper, just anything to fan the wetness off your face. I have actually used a hairdryer before. That does work too. I'm gonna go in, not super close on my face, but I'm gonna go and just evenly mist everything. You wanna relax your face and not crinkle it and you wanna try to avoid getting droplets. So don't go too super crazy. Go a little crazy. Enough to help the powderiness and all the creams to kind of melt together and work together. Same thing with the Fix Plus. I feel like this just adds a nice sheen to my skin and a nice dewiness. This does not elongate your makeup, but it just makes the skin look really good. And that's it for my natural everyday makeup routine. Only 20,000 steps, but you can do it, it's easy. Here we are friends, we have arrived at the completed glam look. I can't believe I didn't put false lashes on though because I am obsessing still over this lash paradise. This is not sponsored at all, but I just have to tell you guys, like I was sitting here with my lashes in front of me, like I'm like full glam, sculpted, highlight contour, like you gotta do the lashes. And I put this on and I was like, dang, this is just enough, it's enough. Love it. All right, so this was my in-depth routine as far as cream contour, using a full coverage foundation and just kind of focusing in on the face. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you like it and you want more in-depth tutorials, maybe for brows, liquid lips, liner, whatever, leave those requests in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it. And I really hope you did. I think that anyone can do this, even you. Just blend, 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 that is the secret to everything. It's time for me to say goodbye and enjoy my contoured face and go live my life. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I love you guys so much and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.